The Zinfandel is an ancient grape. I mean, the oldest vines in the state. Most red wine from California in the late 1800s was Zinfandel based, and it was highly revered by consumers. Zinfandel can make a beautiful wine that can age for decades, but it's got to be from an old field blended vineyard like Lytton or Geyserville. We're in the heart of Alexander Valley, just south of the town of Geyserville. In 1966, we started buying fruit from the Trentadu family. Geyserville is pre Paul Draper um, vineyard that we've been making wine from every year since. From the time I joined in 69, we were already making Geyserville. Back in those early days, Leo Trinidad was out here on the tractor doing all the work and he was deciding when it was optimum to pick. And he was right, he was right on. We were just making the same style we are today at the same ripeness and just some beautiful wine. Geyserville is this amazing single strip of soil that is all consistent. And as we step outside of that, we make a, another wine because it doesn't produce the same wine. The soil here is the same soil type that's in front of the winery at Lytton Springs, but it's a lot rockier and it's very deep. Lytton Springs, the clay's tighter there. So even though it's the same soil series, the wines are different. You've got the good drainage here with that river rock base. There's also, you know, unique minerals in the soil that the vines take in, and that's what you taste. This is the old patch, planted in the late 1880s. We have a mix of varieties here. There are 22 or 23 different varieties. The majority are Carignan and Zinfandel. So this block is like 90, almost 90% almost Carignan, and it can be a problem child, but the wine coming from this is just unbelievable. It makes the geyser roll. It's just, it's what, it's like the soul of the geyser roll. This is where the assemblage begins with this old patch block. There's a synergy of having a mixed vineyard planted like that, the co-fermentations, it makes a huge difference. And that is the, the craziest thing. There's like no science to even begin to figure out what's going on when you have all these varieties in the same tank. So you got all this fusion going on between color molecules, flavor, tannin. Basically, it's like alchemy. You build something bigger than what you can achieve if you fermented the varieties apart and blended the wine later. That wine, then has the adequate structure for aging. If you take two really old bottles of, you know, Montebello and a Geyserville, I mean, they're both going to be fantastic wines. Still on the nose. Yeah, really powerful. I mean, that's amazing. I mean, you can get this kind of power and aroma and texture, even at 14.3 with these old vines. I mean, really good concentration. Yeah, I mean, it's a, just a, a really rich Zinfandel. So Geyserville can age beautifully, and it, it becomes even more elegant the older it gets. And some years, like 2010, um, will age forever. I don't want to ever experience another year like 2010 <laughs> because we lost half of our crop in two days of heat, but it made some glorious wine. It's pretty special to have been working with those same vines for all these years. Vines planted in 1882 that survived Prohibition. There were so many moments when the vineyard could have been abandoned and ripped out. But it's been saved, it's been kept, it's now preserved, we own it, and that wine will always be made.